been quite a week for you here at Dundee United. Um, what's your thoughts on the new manager, Jim Goodwin? Yeah, yeah, it's it's all happened really fast. Um, all the good things about about Jim and his assistant Lee, and it's, it's obviously what we needed, something in place very quickly. If if what happened happened regarding Foxy, so um, shows you know they were keen to get someone in, someone experienced, and and someone brave um, to take the job in terms of the position we're in and the belief in themselves and and the belief in us to to get out of what we're in at the minute. How difficult a time is it for the players? Because it was just last week, you know, you were singing the praises of Liam Fox. Now he's gone and, and quickly there's already a replacement in. Yeah, well, I think regarding Foxy, it's the players who've let him down. We all were trying to buy into what he was doing. And and this is football and it doesn't work out. You've seen a, a, a numerous other clubs in the division. I think we were the one, one of the last to do it. Um, but yeah, Fo Foxy knows. I think I've spoke to him and and so then we take responsibility for what happened and um, and it's happened now so, and um another door opens and it's you know the, the new manager comes in he'll have his, his own ideas and very clear i can say that from um, from this morning and and it's just about getting points on the board yeah and obviously he took the training this morning i mean what has he said to you the players uh today about what he's expecting from you just he, 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 as i said there getting his messages across, across very clear um basic stuff we know what we have to go back to and and things you know it's, it's only his first day so not not everything's going to be done in one day but having two days to, to work before a big game is an ideal but that's the position we're in um and he'll as, as the week go on he'll get his ideas across but we haven't we know we haven't got a, a massive amount of time a massive chunk of time so we've got to buy into it really quickly and 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 whatever that takes to, to get three points in each game how unsettling is it for the players, because obviously there's been so much going on in the background. Tony Ashka leaving as well this week. How difficult is it for you to focus on the football, given the predicament that Dundee United are in at the bottom? It's all you can focus on. What happens upstairs in in the boardroom is none of our control. Um, the decisions what have happened may be in our control because if we're winning games, that probably doesn't happen. But what's happened that has gone now, we can't affect what's gone. Um, well, there's no point dwelling on it because we'll very quickly keep going that way and we don't we want to go the other way in terms of getting points on the board and and closing the gap very quickly give us an idea right what the dressing room has been like this week because there's been so much uncertainty Liam went on sunday tony went on tuesday night i think it was but the players said what's going on at the club because there, there were so many managers mentioned as well potential managers coming in and yet jim happened i think it was in the space of a couple of hours yesterday yeah, it was obviously after the game. You can imagine after any defeat, it's quite flat. But the manner we got beat was was a really sore one. Um, as a, again there with the likes of Tony and Foxy, it was out of our control. We didn't know what was going on. Um, I obviously attended the meeting last week, and what was said was said. But it, football can change very quickly and and go the opposite to what people say, which has happened. So we take responsibility for people losing the jobs. Of course we do, because we're the ones crossing the line. And performing, which hasn't been good enough, so we need to change that quickly. And, and the new manager on board with that. Some of the players now believe that they're playing for their own contracts as well, because the next twelve weeks is going to be crucial. For us. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's it's massive and crucial for us all for our careers. Whether we're staying here, whether people are in different situations about looking for other clubs, but uh, that the case is now is we're all playing for each for our own and each other's career. So let's not make it a. Um, Let's not make it a, a tough one and try and get out of this or what we're in by winning games and there's still plenty to plenty of games to do that. Yeah, supporters don't think it's been welcomed universally that, that Jim's got the job. What would your message be to the fans between now and the end of the season? Because you need them just as much as they need you. Yeah, but that's exactly that. But I think they're probably fed up with me or anyone else uh, sitting behind these mics and cameras saying that. Because we haven't been performing as well as um, as we should have been. They know that. We know that. Um, but I'm sure they will be there still in the numbers, trying to trying to get us through. But I will say it's it's up to us to to try and get them behind us. That that starts with us uh, after the whistle goes on Saturday six. Aside from what was said by Liam previously and what was said by Jim this morning, if the players had a few honest conversations between themselves over the course of the last few days. Yeah, that always happens. Whether you're on a good streak or a bad streak. Well, more so the bad times.
Uh, we've got good experienced players in there who've who've been in these situations, albeit higher levels maybe, but others maybe around you know lower levels. Either or, it's 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 a relegation fight. Let's have it right, and and we've got players who've been in that, in them fights, which you know we're hoping for that experience to show through and, and the character to show through. Do you take something from the fact that the teams around you, you look at Motherwell, you look at Ross County, have put together a string of results of late? It shows you what's possible. Yeah, definitely. And with twelve games to go, um, that's you know it's plenty of points to play for there. Again, I don't want to repeat myself by saying I was sat here a few weeks ago saying there's only fourteen, fifteen games because they come very quickly and go like that um, and pass you by if you don't if you don't take up that opportunity. And that's what we need to do now: take take the opportunities what's coming starting Saturday. How do you lift the atmosphere as a group? It must be pretty bleak just now, given the results of the weekend, given the fact you know you feel responsible for Berlin going. Well, I think this week it happens naturally in terms of a new manager coming in. People will be trying to impress straight away. Um, and it's a new voice. The manager is assistant Lee. So, you, you can, as you can imagine there, they'll, it'll be upbeat straight away. Uh, just off just off a new face there coming in. But as professionals, you, you shouldn't really need that. You should be upbeat every day and, and every game. And uh, But I think naturally that happens once, once a new boss comes in. You beat Aberdeen 4-0 the last time you played them here on Tannadice on Saturday night. How important is it to get off to a positive start under the new manager? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a big one. Um, we know it'll be a big crowd, uh, as it was last time. It's obviously a later kick-off, so you'd imagine the atmosphere will be, will be a bit more rowdy. Um, and we we can use that if we want to our advantage, like we did last time, because the crowd were really up for it. Um, we weren't in the best place then either, if I remember rightly. We were still down there, struggling a bit. And we managed to um, get a good run of results after that, and, you know, Hibs, um, and then going up to Dingwall as well. So there's something else we have to do now, start, start, um, start, start on Saturday, trying to get a, a good run of results, but that's the first one. Obviously the manager will have the inside track very much on uh, Aberdeen. How important is it you use that to your advantage? Yeah, it's just that's just what happens. They're, they're next year, um, whether it'll be anyone else, it'll be the same approach. And it's just about us now trying to, to, to put a plan in to get three points because we desperately need them. What can we see different this weekend compared to the United that we've seen over the last couple of weeks? You know, there has been a lot of big changes and you know, new manager and stuff. What can we expect to see? Well, I, I, hopefully, uh, you know, one one that's going to win. That, that's the plan. Um, simple as that. There'll be plans obviously put in place and, and a team named and whoever's crossing the line is taking the responsibility to try and get three points and, and needing to get three points. Obviously a new manager coming in, he'll be kind of probably looking for everyone starting on a kind of blank level. Is he picking a team, are we expecting to see a, sem- a different team potentially? Different starting 11? I don't know, that's that's probably a question for him, but I'm sure he, you know, it probably is a clean slate for everyone. That, that's natural when a manager comes through the door, but we, we, we know we haven't Got all the time in the world to to start to start trying to put plans together and stuff like that, and it's starting Saturday, forty eight hours away, is is a massive start and and one we all believe in and and see as a good chance to start you know climbing up, which is what we have to do. Let's be honest.